You're watching TSB Television's Supercuts. The all-time leading scorer at Creighton Durham Hall, Franny Hottinger lived up to her namesake. Before she makes a run at Lehigh's records, we look back at this scoring sensation. Let's do my vocal cords. We've, we've been through a few of those before, Mike, if, <laughs> I, uh, if I recall correctly. Franny Hottinger completes the drive. But they haven't been able to cash in. Hottinger. Finally gets the does. Bounce. Woodbury, Roseville, and Eastridge all coming up. The most recent game was Friday at one of her White Bear Lakes. Six points there. Franny Hottinger scores. She's passed up a couple of threes. Hottinger can't hit one. Hottinger works away in for the old board, throws it up, gets the bounce, and one. Here we go. Three pointers blocked. Hottinger goes up, that falls in, but not enough. Time expires. Olivia Travis can't knock down the layup for De La Salle. Hottinger goes up and lays it in. It's going from the floor, hasn't been able to do so yet. Anderson Manning on the run. Hottinger knocks down the elbow jam. Hottinger gets out of a jam. Edinger for three. Oh, that was close. But Hottinger with the rebound and gets the roll. They picked it up a bit here. Paige Goley tries for the layup, no good. Hottinger with the putback. I think they're still in a good position. They're in good position, but Creighton Durham Hall looking to get in a strong position, and Freddie Hottinger will do just that off the steal and score. To Moore. Dumps it off. Hottinger, yes. Swept the Bears in regular season play. Hottinger recovers in time, and Creighton scores the transition deuce. We were talking up Usby in the open, but Berger has 10 points. That could help the Eagles out. Meanwhile, Creighton scores down low. Freddie Hottinger. And here comes Hottinger with the Euro step. Basketball, we had uh, more fan support. We had more fan support. Um, and our the boys and the girls. She hasn't played a full season in a long time. Hottinger drives and scores. Chance for the Eagles to pick up some momentum, but Anderson Manning comes up with it, and Creighton's going to score an easy transition look. Now the uh, handing out drinks to his daughter there. And Franny Hottinger, he's hoping one day that Katia will score as many points as you did, but even if she doesn't, uh, she's had a great sophomore right. season. Paige Goley on the floor for the Raiders, number 14. Dishes to Hottinger. Well, she came up out of that rebound. I think it was two or three Creek players right down there, and she came up with it somehow as Hottinger scores the basket at the other end. Hottinger great, that's a great again. move. Long skip from Butler to Eddinger, Franny Hottinger. And she scored that over two Titan players. They were all over her. If you're Woodbury, that's something you'll keep an eye on. You surely don't want to let them get open. Well, there's somebody who's not going to miss down low. Create such a strong bond. AU, even more so than high school. Um, maybe right, you because... travel together. Franny Hottinger exactly. scores. But if she put up big numbers, she turned into a beast. You right. could, she knew when to take over. And Franny Hottinger knows when to take over, too. They would likely be unseated. Tip-off goes to the Raiders. They're wearing the purple. And they waste no time executing the transition attack. Points, again, she's known for putting up big numbers in the Creighton games. That's exactly what she did, 26 and 21. Randy Hottinger says, right back at you. Hottinger. Weaves through, gets the reverse. Hottinger, again, lights out from inside. Give and go from Mendez to Hottinger. There's an example. Ben Utech who play college for the Gophers, and then won a championship with the Colts. That's going to be a foul.
Nobody making their shots right now. Goalie no good. I think there's a lid on both buckets right now. Well, Franny Hottinger opens yeah. that lid. Interesting to see if, if Crystal gives them a couple different looks on defense, Mike. Not just playing a sit back in that 2 3 zone, but maybe go a little bit man to man defense as well. Try to mix it up. How about that look by Franny Hottinger? Creighton trying to go in the fast break. Jackson finds Hottinger. Joe Lynch was the coach that last year. He took the job at Hastings. Franny Hottinger. Hottinger. Up and in. She stayed with it, Mike. Didn't give up on the play. For a team like Creighton Durham Hall that has the speed and the acumen with Crystal Flynn and Franny Hottinger, who is on fire. This game, Mike, that we've seen Stillwater take advantage of that size. Randy Hottinger, up and in. Colin, oh, bounce pass to, to Hottinger, Look, got it. To Eat again, Martinez Stewart catches Carlin falling asleep. Hottinger, another putback. Speed to match. Sydney Jackson, the shovel pass to Hottinger, count it. Not sure that's the shot Taylor wanted. And Hottinger, with numbers, puts Scali on the spin cycle, extra rinse. To deny Delaney Wagner. Hottinger, from Jackson, gets the bounce. And Crystal Flint really likes her progression, calls her a pest out there. And here's Franny Hottinger, Scooping in the layup. And out of Courtney Crouch, Ella Janicki, and Anna Sanders, 19, 13, and 13, respectively. Autumn Mendez, Lizzie Ettinger. A fortuitous. Makes the most of it. Michaela Holton Adams to Hottinger for three, it's pure. You go from playing at home to neutral territory, and it can take a little while to get used to. But not if you're Franny Hottinger. Raiders swing it out. Hottinger not open for the three. Drives and scores. Hottinger intercepts the inbound. And she'll draw the foul. They'll give her continuation. Oh my goodness. Thanks for watching Supercuts. If you'd like to support TSB Television sports programming, check us out at patreon.com/tsbtelevision or paypal.me/tsbtelevision.